Welcome back to Let's Play Heavy Rain. Now, uh, I know you were all expecting the identity of the, uh, origami killer, but, uh, you know, I think it'd be better to do that on the 20th episode, you know, that seems kind of, you know, an important number. Mm -hmm. Besides, I realize there's one thing that I forgot to talk about. There's extras in this game, you realize? Really? This is a very, this is a very artsy game. There's a lot of bonus stuff here, actually. We got, a, we got bonus, we got DLC, and, you know, I mean, check this out. We got trailers, we got, mm -hmm. like, interviews, we got casting, we got concept art. That's uh -huh. pretty cool, you know, we got, we got, like, the house and, like, a party and all that stuff like that, and, well, uh... Probably save that for the bonus episode at the end of that, but uh, you know, mm -hmm. just a lot, lot of lot of cool stuff here with the with the music and how they crafted the action scenes. Really neat stuff to watch, actually. And uh, another thing, uh, we, we got trophies here, all the trophies that you've got, and uh, well, we didn't worry about that right now. But um, yeah, there is actually DLC for this game, some downloaded content. And, uh, it's about five bucks, and they're, like, alternate stories, and, uh, just kind of, you know, sub-stories that happen before and after the game and all that, and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all of those today, and, uh, I've picked up all of the DLC! The one thing. All one thing. of them! All one of them! <laughs> <laughs> the one thing! Okay. This is, uh, the Taxidermist, uh, Madison Page Chronicle. I think he intended to do more, but, uh, the game didn't do as well, and I really don't think the uh, concept would have worked too well in any other kind of settings, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things didn't work out too well, but uh, this is just uh, one solitary story that can have multiple hey, hey, endings. It says, really? I got the information you asked for. The guy's name is and I think now would be a good time to do this because we now know who Madison Page really is at this point in the story. She's a no good sleazy journalist or A something. journalist! Blah! It's like the boogeyman. His last known address was 411 Harbor Street, Lexington. You really think this guy could be the origami killer? Yes. Everyone's the origami killer. I'm the origami killer. UDJ's the origami killer. Everybody is. The only one who isn't the origami killer is, uh, well, um, the origami killer. Uh, maybe they'll pull a hot fuzz. The Everybody's in on it. <laughs> if it's not him, he'll give me some tips on how to stuff animals. If he is the killer. And we've got the scoop of the year. Shit, you're well, nuts. the taxidermist here, I can tell you, is unrelated to the origami killer. Cool. Uh, if there's one person the origami killer isn't, it's this guy. This guy is the taxidermist, and uh, this is, uh... Hmm. But wait a minute, I just realized something. Why would you release DLC? I I'm assuming this came out after the game was released. Why yeah. would you release this when you already know the outcome of the game? Well, um, this is a suspect Leland White. This can take place, like, at any point in the story, pretty much, you know, just uh, a what-if scenario, because the taxidermist here is unrelated. This is an, an entirely new character with an entirely new set of motives and all that stuff like that. So, Leland White, let's take a look into his mailbox, because there's no uh, issue in uh, just uh, leafing through his mail. That's, that's no problem. Except for an invasion of privacy, a very highly punishable uh, law to break. I'm a journalist. I, I have no standards. <sighs> oh, my God. So you carry a lockpick around with you, too. I carry around a set of skeleton yeah, keys. <laughs> I can get into any lock. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. Rummage through his trash, too. Check hey, the trash. Hey, it's outside his fence. I can do what I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's how that works. So Get out of here. In here. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> Some people are trying to sleep down here. Oh, sorry, Oscar. I was just thinking if you open up the trash can, it that's says, Who's your daddy? Looks like blood. So, a blood-stained woman's shoe. This is going to be great. Way to go, Madison. Why, do you, why do you fuckers not burn Madison this stuff? People can look through trash. <laughs> I mean, not speaking from experience, of course. Let's see if we can make our way inside, at least. Hello, I'm coming in, thanks! <laughs> can we tuck and roll through that window? <laughs> I can't force our way in, the door's locked, obviously. Damn. Open the door, we have your baby. 
Anybody home? Mr. White? Well, I'm stumped. <laughs> Tell you, we gotta tuck and roll through the window. Break that taxidermist thing. Bang! Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> it's a Too mafia bad. hello. Here. There's nothing else for me to do. I better get out of here. I'm starting to freeze with all this goddamn rain. Well, when in doubt, break and enter. Let's go. Okay, she is. I was, I was hoping this would be kind of like a King's Quest puzzle. Find a way to hilariously break into the house. It's a jar. Oh, seriously? Looks too high for me to be able to get in that way. Pick up the barrel. Oh, well, I guess we better go home. Oh, my God. All right, so. Uh, Just... Remember, this is me playing here. Let's Gotta do a, a one-two step before we pick up the <laughs> barrel. Hey, wait a minute. He has all these oil drums. Why not do an oil fire? Burn all the evidence. All right, I swear I did it right that time. Yeah. There we go. All right, now I gotta do is just to jump on and. I could have a quick look inside. I'm not gonna get my article written. There's by no the prompt. Outside. I could get up there with that little barrel. Are you kidding me? Step on top of it, Can't Madison. Break into the guy's yeah. Like no way. We gotta. We gotta get a bigger barrel first. Yeah. Why? Because yeah. this is a very short episode, and we gotta get our money worth. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for bringing to light the real reason why we have to do all this superfluous crap. You kick a barrel a few times. That's your that's your riveting award-winning gameplay right here. Really tells the story, doesn't it? Kicking a barrel! Madison, that window is six foot high off the ground. You are five foot five? L looking at you? You could make that! Well, she's a journalist. She needs to have everything done her way. I have no... I have nothing against journalists. I'm just, you know, saying she's a journalist to justify these ridiculous actions of hers. She's a bad journalist, let's say that. That's good. Well, it's bad. She's a very bad journalist. I'm not gonna break into his house, but let me open up the window and break into his house. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do, huh? <laughs> Hey, forget about breaking into his house. I wouldn't even do that. Not even to my own grandma. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, so, uh, when are you going to make a bowl of cereal and have to do five quick time events for that? No, wait, we already did that. Falls and shatter glass. Immediately call the cops. Alright, let's make our way in. Although, I just keep having second thoughts. She did say, I can't just break into his house moments before. <laughs> this thing prefers everything if you don't do the quick time event right. <laughs> hey, oh there. no! Oh no, we're locked in! Jesus! I'll just have a quick look, take a few photos, and get out of here fast. <laughs> do something, do something, do something, do something, do something, do something. Your fate is sealed. So I don't know what I'm trying to find here. I mean, it's telling me to look everywhere. Stinks of dust and death. Dust and death. Women's jewelry. He's the taxidermist. And necklaces and bracelets. Strange place to keep them. Is this the same actress? Yeah. I think so. I don't know. She's like actually emoting. Although I got a feeling what this game's gonna try to do. I mean, I I got a feeling. I know how these games work. I know how David Cage works. He's gonna come home at some point. And mm -hmm. He's gonna realize that I've been here. If I don't do, if I don't leave everything the way I left it down here. Gotcha. So if I left those cabinets open, he'd be like, "Who's been in here?" And then, yeah. Gee, oh look, the disembodied heads. In the fridge? Dude, clean your fucking fridge. You eat shit in there. Bathroom. 
bathroom. Very small, <laughs> very cramped. It's a European bathroom for you. Plus a window right above the toilet. Like, you have to stand inside the room and then close the door and then sit on the toilet. It's so tiny. Yep. Nice little closet for you. Wow, look at all the dead animals. Oh, oh, we're going for a Dutch angle. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, baby. Get that. Get that angle. Oh, it's so good. There we go. Floorboards creak when I walk on them. It fits this creepy place. Yeah, he's going to come yeah, home. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. You can see it coming a mile away, yeah. But the game still thinks that there's something to find here. So let's see what we can find. Basketball fell out. I need to put that away, otherwise I'll notice. If I can just get to it. Can you put it away? I want to get the basketball. Whatever. This looks like his workshop, I'd say. Ah. Where he does his taxidermy. Hmm. Are those molds that you could put into the pelts? Well, I mean, I imagine when he probably takes all the guts and bones and shit out, he probably does that to sort of mold it into... Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. I'm sure any taxidermist out there will probably say it's a very technical thing. They do their research, these guys. Sometimes. How many taxidermists we got out there? Sound off. <laughs> Mr. White and I don't exactly share the same taste in interior decor. Oh, God, I thought that was a real dog. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, he is a taxidermist and he's married to his job, so of course you have a bunch of taxidermy animals around. Maybe those are the rejects that he couldn't sell, the ones that he really liked, that he uh, managed to buy from the actual original owners. Oh! Corpses? Uh-oh. Yep. Oh. Corpses! Oh. oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, it's not just animals he does this to. Oh. Taxidermy women! Oh, he's taxidermying in, yeah, women. A body in the bathtub. Oh. She, she, um, kind of Completely off. eviscerated. No wonder it stanks. I've seen enough. Gotta get out of here and call the cops. Yeah, I we definitely. Yeah, I, I yeah, we need. Nah. And this is where he comes home. Don't How predictable. There might be something else. But wait, there might be something else. Oh, he taxidermies men too. Equal opportunity taxidermy. <gasps> the finished product, of course. Oh. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's so wrong. I can't imagine why they didn't make any more of these chronicle stories. Oh my god. That's so messed up. Especially if they start moving. Would it be too dark for one of them to go, Who? This time I got my story. I think it might, but it would be so effective. Uh, the best right. journalist. I think we've seen enough. Now it's time to get out of here. It's time to leave. It is time to get the fuck out of Dodge. And wouldn't you know it, this is probably where he comes home, right? Uh huh. And, oh yeah. 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 This is bad. That's bad. weird. I thought White had no kids. Oh, probably he just stuffed them too. I was just about to say he makes his own kids. I mean, a lot of people claim they can get a harem. No, he just makes his own. Basketball back. Don't leave any. Yeah, I feel like if, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm thinking ahead. If this mm -hmm. evidence is uh, brought into question, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I, I don't have a permit to come in here, you know, it'd be, mm -hmm. it'd be me. It, I would have gotten this evidence by ill-gotten means. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have, you know, gotta make sure I don't leave a trace of myself. But I can't close the door, so I don't think the game is considering that a problem. So I don't know. Fair Whatever. enough. Okay. And called it. And your motorcycle right. is right out in the open. Shit. 
Mhm. Mm uh, I love going to the woman market and picking up a few corpses. Well, we don't know that you did. We, we don't know if you did that or not. He might have just, you know, went to Subway and got a couple sandwiches or something. Ah, uh, gotta love the meatball marinara, tell you what. Uh, sucks about the Cubs, though. Oh, I really wish that they'd win a game this season. Gotta move quietly. Oh, these floorboards are gonna get killed. Oh, his favorite sports teams are based on animals he's killed. <laughs> <laughs> the Chicago Bears! <laughs> <laughs> the Michigan University Wolverines. There we go. I was, I was trying to see your knowledge on sports teams. It basically rivals mine. Hooters? <laughs> yeah, the San Francisco Hooters. Don't you know them? <laughs> Let me grab a beer out of my nasty fridge. And now it's time to escape. Trying to make sure I don't... Is he going to be able to see me? Is he coming up the stairs there? Nope, just going back to the couch. <sighs> Alright, all th thank God he's a dummy. I think that was because I left uh, everything closed in the kitchen because he immediately went right to the kitchen. I would not have had enough time to go down the stairs and out the door in time for him to grab that beer, and he immediately noticed that I left, you know, oh. drawers open or whatever, oh. and all that. I'm glad he has so. no peripheral vision. Or can hear things. Oh, he's watching boxing, okay. Seriously, oh, that, was... that worked? Oh, it's was close. Maybe I can use a chair to get out. No, I can't do that. Alright, well, uh, maybe I can go in here. And you walk into where he does the taxidermy! Nope, this is the garage. Oh. A garage he doesn't use. Because he parked his truck outside. In the rain. And escaped. But we made it! Shit, that was easy! Hey, I, I saw the bloodstains. Oh, of course I it's out of... Oh, I thought it was out of gas. I didn't think it'd be that easy, but yeah, we escaped. We got the evidence against him. We got everything we... Sit. Do you... You gonna go to prison, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> that was gonna, so you're, easy! You're gonna go to prison for a long time. So, with that outcome, we get... In the middle of the horror. Our reporter, Madison Page, managed to sneak into the house of the serial killer who stuffed his victims after killing them, the man who was, was arrested without any, you know, problems. And that's the end of the... That's the end. That's it. That was five bucks! That was five bucks. That should have been think... an unlockable extra! But there are four other endings that we can get. Oh. There are, there are many ways that that could have gone down, and, uh... We can go to one of the three points in the chapter, and we'll go to Leland's hmm. back end. Uh, this time, we'll just... Confront him directly. I mean, what's the worst we can happen? We're gonna take down this sucker. We're not running away. We're gonna take him head on! We're gonna die. Not necessarily. I mean, that is that is a possible ending that we can have. I think we're his type. We're gonna die. And then our whole playthrough is ruined. <laughs> Madison's like, what? What are you gonna make me do? What? We have a time paradox on our hand. I know, right? Only one hand, though. Alright, so Leland is home. And uh, this time we're going to just confront him directly. You know, I really like the idea of being able to go back to specific points just so you don't have to play the whole thing over again. Yeah. So, good on you. It's a nice little reminder that the floor creaks. Good job. There he is. Old Fighter the Third. I love you, buddy. <laughs> Floorboards. And we're just gonna run like crazy. Quietly. <laughs> These floorboards are gonna get me killed. <laughs> he even talks like a serial killer. 
little sequence. <laughs> <laughs> right, we can hide under the bed if we want to, but uh, again, we're not hiding, we're not running, we're gonna confront him directly, and the music starts up. This is his alert phase. Have you seen my little darlings? Pretty, aren't they? It's like, what's up, you bastard? Come on! <laughs> and now he's caught us, and now we're in active quick time event mode. Oh, okay. As you pinball your way down the hallway, ting, ting, ting! ting, ting. ting. <laughs> I can just hear the sound effects, too. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta be careful here, because if we do these ones where he's right in front of us wrong, he can stab us, but whoop! Whoop! Hup! Ooh! Yeah! Right in the nugs. Ting, 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 ting! <laughs> Jesus, Madison, come on! T t yeah, with the camera, tilt, tilt, tilt. Are <laughs> your legs broken? God, he's howling! Ah, why? <laughs> I like Bring this guy. <laughs> Whoa! Hello! <laughs> Punched your own door, you dumbass. That was my favorite hand. Oh, yes. Out the window. Oh, it's somehow locked, too, please. He thought of everything. We're not running! Uh, uh, uh... It won't take very long. Oh, that's freaking... <laughs> uh, do the thing? Oh, do the, the thing? we're in the garage again. Oh, wait. No, wait, your past self told you about this! You gotta use the door! The door thingy! Uh-oh. That didn't work. Uh-oh. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, nope. this looks familiar. Nope! Haha! Mm -hmm. Okay. We're back in the house for some reason. Shit! <laughs> We're back up the stairs! Why? <laughs> hey, what do we do now? Jump out of the roof? We're just doing the same stuff over again! <laughs> hey, maybe I can get 20,000 points this time. Yeah, this is exactly the same! It's the exact same stuff! There's not enough time! He's in the door, he's watching you do this! Okay, so maybe we'll just uh, hide under the bed here. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Do something a little different. We'll pop out, and then we'll run away! <laughs> oh, I haven't stuffed a kitty yet. I'm gonna have to collect you. See, I played Metal Gear Solid before. That's really how easy it is to get away from somebody who's actively looking for you. Apparently. Oh. Ah, uh, it seems like you vanished. Gotta survive. We're not gonna die. A little bit of self-help here. Always felt All right, well, maybe there's something we can find around here. Maybe we can like defend ourselves with. I have. It's lovely. Oh. I can hide under the stairs. Why? I'm gonna hide here and wait for him to lose interest. <laughs> hey, it was nothing. It's called probable cause! Oh, she's under the rocking chair. No, wait. <laughs> Good! It's the same one again. Oh, oh, oh same place. Oh, man. <laughs> the crotch again. All right, let's head out of here again. Okay. Duh. <laughs> Watch out for that step there. Ah, uh, here we go. This is what we need. What? Yeah. All no right. Way. Let's get this chainsaw revved up. No way. You're going to regret Whoa. fucking with me, boy. <laughs> let's do this. Dude. All right, it's time for the taxidermy to be taxiderm- Fuck! Oh, shit. What? One hit. What? Gone. 
Oh, that's bullshit! I did everything right! Oh, Wouldn't man. make you into a pretty girl. Yeah. You're going straight to my harem. Let's uh -huh. go. Yeah. Yeah. I hate the oh. state of anime fans. Uh, this is obviously the, uh, the bad <laughs> ending. <laughs> How'd and you guess? So she, and so she was made into a nendoroid. It was never heard from again. <laughs> a life-size figure, my friend. Where is Madison Page? We've had no news for several days from our journalist who was investigating. Blah, blah, she's dead. Ha! I saw that second headline carving out the truth. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Well, obviously one of them is killing him, and I don't know what the other two are, but hey, those are two of the five endings. Go and get it yourself if you want to see the rest, I guess. I don't know. Seriously, there $5? Are, there are a few other things here. For example, we have some concept art we can look at. Ooh, very nice. Mm -hmm. You have the, uh, the front of the store. You got the back of the store, where you break in there. And the barrels there, those, those eponymous barrels. We got the kitchen. Very dirty. Got the stairs. Lighting's lovely. We get the hallway. Get his storage bin. His workshop. Hmm. His uh, bedroom, his uh, workshop again, <laughs> the garage, chainsaw missing, and uh, I don't know about you, but I kind of think that these games would fare a lot better if they used this sort of comic book style that they have going on here. You know, it's all stylized and, you know, colorful and the, the, the inking's real heavy. I I think it would have uh, benefited a lot from this kind of, uh, this kind of style they stuck with the storyboards instead of... David Cage using real people and so many billions of polygons to bring forth the emotion. I really like this. Kind of reminds me of The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. I mean, could you imagine, you know, having the same sort of gameplay and the same story, but with this comic book style? I think people would be a lot more forgiving for the ridiculousness of David Cage. But we got to head back to the story. We'll see you next time on Heavy Rain, where we'll be revealing the origami killer once and for all. Oh, finally. Thank you.